Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Normal view is the default view in PowerPoint. You can select this view by clicking the normal button in the presentation views button group within the status bar. Alternately, you could click the normal button in the presentation views group on the view tab in the ribbon. In this view, you can see much of your presentation content. This view contains many different panes of information you can use to make changes to your presentation's content. The large middle pane shows the currently selected slide in the slide view. You can change the slide objects directly on the slide in this pane. This is where you will probably make most of your editing changes in PowerPoint. Below that pane is a smaller pane into which you can enter speaker notes for the currently selected slide. If using PowerPoint 2013, you can toggle the display of this notes pane on and off by clicking the notes button that appears at the bottom of the slide within the status bar. Notes entered into this pane will also appear in the notes page view. At the right side of the slide pane below the vertical scroll bar are the next slide and previous slide buttons. You can click these buttons to move up and down through the slides in your presentation. In normal view, you can enable the display of the ruler and grid lines for your slides in order to assist you in placing and aligning content within the slide. You can check the ruler and grid lines check boxes in the show group on the view tab to check the boxes and enable their display. You can click the same check boxes again to clear the checks from the boxes and disable their display as well. If using PowerPoint 2013 or 2010, you can also check the guides checkbox to enable the display of guides to assist you in placing object content into your slides. You can click and drag the guidelines that appear to change their location within the slide. If you wish to add another guideline, hold the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the two default guidelines that appear to add another guideline of the same type. You can then release the control key when finished. You can uncheck the guides checkbox to disable their display when no longer needed for object placement. If using PowerPoint 2010 or 2007, then the pane at the left side of the screen has two tabs in it, Slides and Outline. You can click on the two tabs to show the content of the slides in the presentation in the Slides view or in the Outline view. If you click the X in the upper right corner of this pane, it will close. You can restore the pane by clicking the Normal button again in either the ribbon or the status bar. If using PowerPoint 2013, only the slides view is available within this pane at the left side of the screen. You can click on a slide shown within this scrolling list to select it and display it in the large slide pane to the right. You cannot close this scrolling pane of slides in PowerPoint 2013. You can click and drag on the window split shown between the slide window and the pane at the left in order to change the amount of room available to each. You can also perform the same task with the window split shown at the bottom of the window in the normal view. In PowerPoint 2013, if you could click and drag the split between the right and left panes all the way to the left, you can minimize the left slide pane. You can then click thumb, the thumbnails button that appears in the strip at left to display the slide thumbnails again. If using PowerPoint 2010 or 2007, you can click the Outline tab in the pane at the left side of the Normal view to view the presentation's content in an outline. This allows you to concentrate the flow of ideas in your presentation. Just as in an outline for a term paper, you can organize your headings, subheadings, and organizational points. This also allows for more consistent formatting amongst your topic class, classes and groupings. Note that you can also edit and format text content in this view, just as you can in the actual slide. If using PowerPoint 2010 or 2007, you can click the Slides tab in the pane at the left side of the Normal view to view each slide as an individual image. 
This is now the only available view in PowerPoint 2013. You cannot edit the content of the slides in this pane. It is only used to navigate through your presentation. You can scroll up and down through the listing of slides shown in this pane and then click on the one that you would like to display in the main window in order to edit its content. You can also click and drag the pictures of the slides shown here to reorganize the sequence of slides shown in your presentation if desired. At the bottom of the normal view is the notes page view, displayed as a pane into which you can type the presenter's notes. In this pane you may add notes you want the speaker to use during the presentation. Every presentation slide has a corresponding notes page so you can associate extra information with the slide without having to display it on the actual slides in the presentation. You can even use the printed form of the note page view for audience handouts as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.